Hey guys, <coughs> well I decided to continue with the wine box theme for building my little uh, controller here. So uh, I've gathered up the bits and pieces. Um, I decided not to put the software software defined radio setup in here. Um, a number of people commented on you know screening and uh, EMI interference and stuff. So I decided um, it wouldn't fit in here practically anyway. But anyway, so here we go. So the idea is that I will put the power supply, the stepper motor. Uh, I will fit this to the roof here, um, and I will fit this on here. Um, and then all the sort of AC in and everything like that will come here. I uh, haven't quite decided on what to do for the outlet to the stepper motor, uh, but I think the easiest thing to do is probably just a simple, uh, what do you call it, a D9 um, plug and socket setup. Uh, and I'm sure I have a D9 cable lying around somewhere. I had also started prototyping around how to hook up this uh, shaft onto the loop. Uh, and so I started 3D printing, if you like, uh, a prototype just to see about getting the dimensional accuracy uh, correct. So this shaft is 14 mil diameter and I think I made a couple of these guys and in the end I think it was like about f if I told a 3D print to make the whole something like 14.2, 14.25 um, then it would fit just nice slip fit like this which is exactly what I'm looking for. And when I figure out what the other end looks like I can make a big beefy version of this uh, extending out onto the loop. Um, so that's the plan. So I gathered up all the bits and pieces, everything was good to go and uh, uh, and then this happened. So I decided to do some shortwave listening the other night. Here's the existing controller and here's the existing loop and the last time I used this I could turn the on handle here and it would whiz away like crazy and absolutely nothing would happen out here. But today if I turn it the damn thing is working again. So this puts me in a little bit of a dilemma because I mean it's working <laughs> and tearing all that down off the mast just to replace it with something which will give me the same functionality uh, puts me in a quandary. So I think what I'm going to do is I will finish off the controller in its box but then I'll just probably put the project on hold to see whether or not this controller, this rotator is going to stay good or if it's going to jam up on me again. If it jams up again then no question. We will definitely tear it down and uh, uh, replace this but for now I think it's just working. Driving, driving up the coast of living. Zurich, Geneva and Japan's Osaka trail closely with emerging market cities like Istanbul and Moscow. So yeah that's a little bit uh, I guess frustrating since I'm well into this <laughs> so yep I'll finish all this up I'll mount it so it's all uh, good to go and then we'll see where we go from there.